Hey everybody, Jeff here from CarBuyingTips.com with an urgent update for those of you who have a late model Lexus vehicle. And we'll put a chart of that up on the screen here for you. But if your Lexus vehicle has a cracked dashboard or if your Lexus dashboard is melting or even if you have any other molding inside your car or decorative parts that are either melted or cracked you know, or they're sticky, okay, then Lexus has a new extended warranty covering just that repair for us. Now, if you recall on our previous video last year that we uploaded for you, we told you about the older customer service program called ZLD that Lexus had, but that one expired in 2017. And we've gotten a lot of comments from folks who had fallen through the cracks. They never got their letter from Lexus that you know, would look something like this. So, you know, just too many people fell through the cracks on that one. So we decided to put this video up to show you everything you need to know to make sure you get yours, okay? And this is timely, folks, because this new warranty from Lexus expires on March 31st, 2021. So you have basically just over a month from now in order to get in there. Now, being a former engineer myself, you know, I've never been a fan of limits, limits and expiration dates and all that. Those are things you should run away from. You should not be heading towards those. So don't think to yourself, Oh, I have until March 31st, because I can tell you all of those people that waited till the end on the first program that they did, the ZLD program that ended in 2017 for the Lexus melted and cracked dashboards, those people were left out on the lurch because by the time they got around to getting in there, they were on waiting lists that were going to be two years long. And we've heard from people that still never even got their dashboard replaced. Okay, now in the video description below, I'm going to put a link to the PDF file for this letter so you can read it. This is a letter from Toyota to all of the Lexus dealers telling them how to handle this. And if you look at your screen here, you will see this is the list of all of the different models that are covered under this new customer service program, ZLZ which again, it looks to me from everything that they're describing here, it looks exactly like the old customer service program ZLD that they did that expired four years ago that you saw in our other video. And we'll put a link to that other video as well that you can check it out. Okay, now let me just warn you about a number of complaints we received from people for many years. Remember, remember folks, we're in this too with you. We got our dashboard replaced by Lexus back in October of 2015 but we've heard from numerous people, and here's, here's the most common complaints we hear. One, they never got their letter, that should look kind of like this. They never received a letter from Lexus, so they never knew there was an issue, so they missed the deadline. Okay, so really, you know, folks, when there's problems with a car, it's really the responsibility is yours to know when you have a problem and to know to get in there. But anyway, so the very first thing you need to do is take this eight-page letter with you down to the Lexus dealer, because it explains to them gives them instructions how they are to handle it and how to even order the, the, the correct parts, okay? And once you get down there, you need to get a written, a written response saying that you are covered under this program and that your dashboard will be replaced under this program. If you walk out of there with nothing but a verbal, you're not going to get anything, folks. And guess what's gonna happen? This is where people were complaining, is that between Lexus corporate and the Lexus dealers, they're stalling, okay? So if you go down to a dealer and the dealer says, oh, we don't know anything about this. There's, there's, there's not true, you know, all they're doing is stalling you. What does that do? That buys them several more days, you see, or possibly weeks or months before you're smart enough to go to another Lexus dealer. And maybe that dealer does the same trick, you see? So they keep bouncing you around and bouncing you around when in reality, you walk in there with this, they can't argue with this. And if they give you any nonsense about it, you call Lexus corporate. And then after you call Lexus corporate to complain, you get onto the Better Business Bureau's website, bbb.org, and you file a complaint against the dealer and against Lexus, saying they're going against their own writing right here. Okay, the other thing you need to be aware of is that the dealers usually maintain a list because they have to be able to tell whose car am I working on today and when's it going to be done. Okay, so make sure you're on that waiting list. And you better check, I would call every week. This is what we did. We got in on June and we got repaired in October, but we were calling them every week or two to confirm that our name was still on the list, that we weren't erroneously knocked off or scratched off or whatever. Because once that date passes, it doesn't matter who is at fault or what's going on. Lexus is being super tight on this one, folks, and they will not honor it, okay? They look for reasons to not honor it, okay? 
at the risk of any backlash from Lexus coming back to us, I can tell you from what we've seen from previous owners in the past from this, and it's not just one or two, it's numerous people. Okay, the other complaint we got from a lot of people is, why didn't I get my letter from Lexus? Well, I don't know why, nobody knows why. Some people got them, some people didn't. If you didn't move we, and you didn't get the letter, hey, we have absolutely no idea why. Um, we're pretty sure that, that they didn't go out of their way to contact each and every one of the... There was about 460,000. Hey, one other thing too, people. It, part of the reason why sometimes the owners don't get notified from the car companies is maybe they somehow didn't have your information there, even though the dealer has it and all that. So here's what you do. I'm going to put this link down in the video description below for you. It takes you to a website that Lexus has that allows you to update your owner information. And you should make sure that they have that information in there. So I'll put that link down below there. And you'll need your full 17-digit vehicle identification number to input the new information. And this is what you'll see. It looks like this on the screen. So this way you can confirm directly to Lexus that you are the owner of this car and here's the VIN number. That way, if there's any other issues, supposedly later on, they could send it to you. And if they didn't send you a letter later on after you've notified them of your information, maybe you'll have some confirmation here by printing it off of the website so you can tell them, look, here it is right here. I submitted it. You should have it. And I'm going to reiterate this over and over and over again, folks, so it sounds like a broken record. But we took a lot of flack for our last video. People are blaming us when we have nothing to do with this. Well, why did you put this video out now? Because, you know, the thing expired in 2017 and you're not telling us anything and they never sent us a letter and this and that. And so they're, they're lashing out and they're blaming anybody and everybody for their problems, okay? Don't be that person. Don't sit there and whine and moan about it. Get out there to the dealer today. Bring all of this information that I'm giving you and get out there and don't wait. Don't think, oh, I have until the 31st. Just get out there to talk. I, in fact, if the, if the Lexus dealer is still open now, I would, I would get down there right now. I wouldn't even wait until tomorrow. What are you still doing here watching this video? Get over there. So that's what you need to do, folks. You need to get down there immediately and get on that list. And, and if you have any kind of cracked dashboard, if you have any sticky dashboard, any melting molding anywhere inside that car, this is it, folks, all right? Get in there and get your claim in. There's no excuses for it. Let me give you a stern warning, folks, between the Lexus dealers and Lexus corporate, they're both playing hardball and they're both playing delay of game right now. Okay, so if you didn't get your information in, you're, that's it, you're not covered. It doesn't matter what the circumstances were. It doesn't matter if it was Lexus's fault that you didn't get a letter or this happened or this didn't happen or anything happened. If you didn't get your claim in by March 31st, 2021, you are shut out and they will do zero for you. And I mean absolute zero. Just go look at our last video on this and look at all the angry comments from people, right? Okay, now back in 2015 when this first started, we did a series of blog posts on our carbuyingtips.com website. So I'll put a link to that also down in the video description for you. And that'll give you some great insight into what was going on at the time and what different owners were experiencing from their different Lexus dealers. It's just amazing how many people were falling through the cracks and, and uh, just don't make the same mistakes they did. You keep calling and checking your place in line. That's all I can tell you to do, folks. Okay, remember folks, don't forget to show up at the dealership with this nine page printout that I'm gonna give you in the video description below, because this is official from Toyota to the dealers. So if you encounter a Lexus dealer that tries to deny that this program exists, hey, you've got it in writing right here and you can pull it out and you make a scene right there in front of the service manager. You tell them, why do I know about this? And you don't, you know? Don't let them rake you over the coals because that's what they've been doing to people for the last six years, okay? You rake them over the coals. You hold them accountable this time. Anyway, we hope you found this video useful. And if you did, hey, do us a favor. Would you please give us a thumbs up down below that tells us that you like us. And if you haven't subscribed to the carbuyingtips.com channel yet, man, all I got to say is why not? You see all of the great useful guides we have on here, these consumer advocate guides and videos that show you everything about buying new cars, used cars, leasing, financing, and avoiding car dealer scams. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.